Lakefront Tower, helicopter 178 Sierra Hotel. We're at flight line. We'd like a uh, present position via far departure to the south. All right, of aircraft calling on every frequency, stand by. TBM 12 Mike Castle, <laughs> Lakefront, ground runway 36 left, taxi via Fox Truck. He is saturated. Yeah. Probably the only one up there. Helicopter 8 Sierra tell you you are departing to the south, sir. Go through north, go back to south. Yeah, we'll head north and then go back south for Helicopter 8 Sierra Hotel. Helicopter 8 Sierra Hotel, roger. Give way to the TBM. He's going to be passing in front of you in just a minute. Then departure from a non-moving area. Be a turn risk. Use caution. Proceed on course. Okay, we'll give way to the TBM. We'll use caution and we'll be on course. 8 Sierra Hotel. That was TBM 367 Echo. All right. That's good. Three green. All pressures in the green. Pressures are off. 7 Echo Alpha, clear to the 1 Fox Shot Zero Airport via Raider Vectors Alexandria, and then direct. Maintain 2000. Expect flight level 210. 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency will be 133.15. There you go. Squawk 25. Oh, look at that. 3G top seat, deficits are off. Feels good for about an hour. Clear, clear, clear. Ease it forward. Not too much. Hold it. And then you'll see your attitude change. Just a second. Right about there. there. Push forward. Now you add it to your, your flying to attitude. There you go. Then you're fine. Is that all it is? Use it. Winds pretty much over your road again, so... Get away. Tower, TBM 12, Mike Alpha 36, right? Left, right. Good, get your airspeed and altitude. TBM 12, Mike Alpha, Lake Front, Tower 36. And the positive side, and then as soon as you're ready, you can make your turn. Two mile final. Okay, no delay, depart 36 left, to Mike Alpha. Uh, Cessna 92 Alpha. Global power. Prior to arrival on the roll now, TBM. It's like 92 Alpha. Use all of this greenery right here, I'm gonna get turned south. Six Whiskey Bravo, frequent change approved, safe flight. Safe flight, uh, good day, six Whiskey Bravo. Down. I mean, that's pretty up there, but if you got a straight run like that, no lines across, we'll see what it looks like. Get that right back like Florida. One of the biggest issues in these things for even an experienced pilot is this concerning uh, trim. Yeah. When you're out of trim, especially with doors off. In other words, if I'd step on a pedal right now, you'd probably freak out a little bit, like, what are you doing? Yeah. You know, compared to just, you know, flying low or something yeah, like that. Charlie, it's all good grass. It looks like, is that sprinkler systems? One box truck, Charlie, check here. No, can't be. Well, it might be. All right, got power lines up ahead. All right, just make sure we clear them. Guy we on cross on over 90, and then we'll, we'll jump back on the levee and go from there. Uh, when I was training guys out of Plaquemines, uh, the newbies, uh, I'd make them follow the levee at about 300 foot. In other words, whatever the levee did, you had to do. Some of them some, some real tight turns, too. I mean, this is all pretty much straight. So always keep your eye out. The biggest one, you see that top wire right there? Yeah. It disappears over here, practically. Uh, is that taxi via... Uh, right, and top. I think that's the high line. Tower, tower on the rollout. Oh, we stay on the levee, we're good. Yep. Give us that, give us that 200. Keep speed up, keep altitude the same, and just follow the curves. This levee didn't have too many of them in it, so it's not as hard. Just remember, even though it's anti-torque pedals, you do use your pedals. Main is, when you make the turn, your rotor gets more efficient, so it usually will require a little bit of pedal to offset the torque. Follow that isthmus all the way around, just like that. Stay on top of it. That's cheap. Ah, try this one. <laughs> Middle of the green. Flip over bang. Flip over this way, straight and level. We we'll usually uh, we'll follow the Jackson County and everything. We'll follow the river. Pick up that one. 
Can I jump across? I jump across to the big one? To the long one? In other words... No, you say, we're not driving the causeway, you're driving the causeway on that one. <laughs> Start texting? Yeah, alright. Catch this angle right here, and then it bends to the right a little bit. Give it over, bring it over, bring it over, bring oh, it over. Oh, this guy. Yeah, this guy right here. Now you see what I'm doing, and see it kind of straightens out. Keep us at 200. Keep bear speed up. All right, pick up the levee again. I still think it's a static system. Gotta be. Well, I was told that he pulled it out, put it on a test, and the airspeed indicator was fine. And it's the static system. It's got to be just tubes that go into the gauges, right? That, yeah. There's nothing else. Am I wrong? No, I mean, it, it's a very basic system. Does you got static pressure? What's the, what is the other kind of pressure you got? Ram? You got, you got ram, yeah. You got ram air, and you got static. static just, just a hole. That air passes by. Right. November, right. Going up and over. November, inbound for full stop VFR 2000. Send to the T hangers, and I have Papa. 17 November, right downwind to runway 36 right. 17 November, right downwind 36 right. Burn off some fuel. And uh, wind is still 03, a little bit of a tailwind on this side. Drop it down again. You got the six pack right there. That's three up, the other three over there. That big old land mass, you see kind of the white in the swamp, that's buildings and stuff? Yeah. Right to this side, huge land mass, that uh, tall heart. We can take a look at that and see if anything's happening over there. Other than that, just follow the levee, keep on your pedals, you do have a little bit of a tailwind. Then you just move your nose around a little bit, but you got 80 knot stream of air keeping your tail right behind you. Just opposite, right? Right. Well, you know what, though? It's because we're descending, so it's acting like a BSI. Yep. Which means a static issue, correct? Yep. Which figure out would be right here? Just going down into. Not that this would be a bad idea. And I was always told in a small airplane, said, oh, yeah, Lev's a great place to land, you know, because usually you don't have any issues with wires and stuff like that. But that'd be pretty tight to put a Sessa down on that. Especially in a plane where you can't see it anymore. I, I wouldn't put it on the levee. Do a flight one. Well, yeah, either if, side. If you had more trees close enough, that'd be the only option. Two seven and Bravo. Click my tower. You moving a lot of pedal, or is that the wind just going back and forth? That's just the wind. That's probably a marker for uh, uh, November clear land. Crossing a uh, gas line or something. Archer 6, Papa Alpha, 3-6 right, taxi via Foxhart and Charlie, cross 2-7 midfield. Ah, oh, it looks like a vent. Yeah. Yeah, it is a pipeline. And it's probably a vent for a pipeline. That might be, since that's a sewer system, that might be a vent stop for the methane gas coming off of it. Oh, wow. 6, Papa Alpha, squad. Go ahead and pull us up and do a left three, turn. Let's see what this spot three, looks like three, over three, here, if anybody's three, dumping three, cars or bodies or whatever. Where are we looking? About 90 degrees over here. Watch your airspeed. Get a hold, that's all hard land right there. Matter of fact, start over here and fly that way and uh, do what it looks like. Hey, watch out here. No, that was the idea, at least for us to play around now. We do we pick up on a couple of burnt cars and stuff and just look to see if anybody's out here. If not, we got this whole area right here to do whatever. Uh, obviously, I'd be more on the road because I'm not sure what the ground's like right here, but you can see that's another road right there. Yeah, it looks like mud, soft. What, they do sacrifice a virgin out here or something? Burnt out Every now and then they'll do you on here. They got another road up there, and they got a couple other cars. Alright, there's a tower at 12 o'clock. Yeah, we're not going that far, we're just going, like I said, this whole area right here. We've done maneuvers out here before. 
I want to take a look at that section just to see if any cars are over there or right up to the roads. Is this? I think this is probably St. Bernard. There's got some barracks. Yeah, that's the line right there. This is actually the line. Alright, head on out behind us for that other road. Is this one? No, no, the one over here. I just following out back up front. Drop us down about 100 feet. And keep your speed up. So you can't do this even with Cessnas or whatever. Yeah. Go just about anywhere. Like a Jeep. Yep. Except you don't need to ground. Alright. Alright, quick stop. Push forward, recover, keep flying. Alright, follow the road. Get a chance about it, say about 100. Just follow the road all the way around. Watch your tree, watch your tail. Follow it, good. Obviously, anything I tell you to do that's not uncomfortable, say so. Yep. If you're not comfortable with it, say, oh, I would have did that. So, like this little jog right here, you don't have to jog. TVM 367, Echo Alpha, Ground, 36 left, taxi via Fox Trust. All right. Not too much here other than trash. Go ahead and pull this up. And uh, maybe hit back the levee and let's we'll see what else we got. 70 November, taxi part via Charlie Echo Hotel. Charlie Echo Hotel, 5478 November. We'll head back in and get a couple approaches in, a couple quick stops in, and a couple orders in, and I think that'll okay. suffice unless you got anything particular. Yeah, no, I'm good. Let's take a look at jet ski. Oh, yeah. You got people in this body of water. I don't know why you'd be in this thing. Flight front tower, helicopter 178 Sierra Hotel. We're three miles to the southeast at 300 feet inbound, like the triangle. Helicopter 8 Sierra Hotel, southeast triangle, clear to land. Hey, request the option of the Southeast Triangle 8 0 Square wings, that looks like an RV or something, I guess. Where's that? Taking off on 36 left. Oh, I don't know. Most helicopters don't drop like this. This one does. All the way down. Don't touch anything. Go. All right, good. All right, he didn't give us uh, the option yet, so we got to get that. ATO tower, press the option back to the triangle. Back to the triangle. Tell us southeast triangle cleared for the option, make right close traffic. Yeah. We'll clear the option, right close traffic, ATO tower. Uh, we'll change it up when we get there. We'll go back to Echo and then uh, approach. We've got a couple quick stops. Then some straight in autos. Do you have that uh, archer traffic just ahead and to your right in sight? Got him, in, got him inside, full guard back. Good news, top of the team, deficit off, feels good. Point right. out, clear, clear, clear. On course uh, in regards to that traffic. You'll feel it when we're ready to push, right there. Now, see your attitude, that's it. Yep. Now you're climbing and accelerating. Which is the best way? Um, into the wind as long as I can, just... And we'll turn right here. I was just looking like at that. Look at, look at your oh shit spots without hitting anything. I mean, obviously, that's what you want. All right, exit for echo. ATR Hotel, I'd like to move to Echo for the option. RV4 Gulf Alpha, contact Northwest departure for safe flight. RV? Yeah, that was a square. ATR Hotel, taxiway Echo, cleared for the option. Taxiway Echo, cleared the option, ATR Hotel. This one just took off on 36 left. Wouldn't he be an experimental? In RV, they still call them RVs, because you had all kind of experimentals. I know, we all, when I had experimental. All right, this is going to be a very steep approach. Oh, I thought this was an auto, sorry. No, no, we want to get a couple of... Uh, Quick stops in. Well, then it's, yes, it's a very steep approach. 
or you can make it to Galcom and use Major from there. We'll go to our spot. Go ahead, fly. Big one, they get a couple other men. Push forward, get that speed up. Hey, Sarah, tell us on the go. Okay, quick stop. There you go. Push forward, recover straight. Ah, too much left puddle there. Alright, try one more time. All right, quick stop. Good back. All right, fly. Good. Ease off on your power a little bit. Bird. Bridge is top of the deep. Sound feels good. 40 minutes. Good. But clear. 191 Kilo Mike Lake from ground. I will get two autos in, and I think that'll do it for today. Yep. All right, nice and smooth. A little bit of left pedal. All right, three, two, one, down right aft. Check, check them out right there. It'll come down in a second. Drop it a little bit. A little, yeah, holding everything right there, rotted down. This is it. about here, start your flare easy, a little bit more aggressive, roll on, push forward, pedals. Oh, a little bit at the bottom. <laughs> yep. All right, keep going, try one more time. Drop your power. That was a perfect entry, and I always say, if you mess up the entry, just go around. Yep. Okay, don't don't fight it to recover it. Little, boot, little minor corrections, not a problem. Charlie, Let it roll on. But I think he already did it. Uh, he's doing some body clear. Level 260, yeah. 10 minutes after departure. Easy option. Departure frequency will be 133. We're getting two frequencies. This is squawk 2545. 8 0 toes on the go for the option. Entry was excellent. Kept everything in parameters. A little bit high on a rotor RPM is not a problem. A little bit high. Not the rebound, correct? You know, on the uh, sir, it's one kilo, Mike. You can proceed on course. Thank you. Moving out on airspeed, which we're guessing at this point, but we know what it should be. Hey, you uh, just stay out of remain outside class Bravo airspace, sir. All right, good flying on airspeed. Coming up. One kilo, Mike. You can go ahead and contact one of those parts. They'll clear you through. So just better paddle control. Zero tilt X way echo cleared for the option. X way echo cleared the option. A zero tilt. Uh, on the bottom, on correct, the bottom, yeah. because it's going to run on, you want to run on straight, that's why the skids are made like that. Okay, but other than that, everything looked good, and just finding the sweet spot, what's going to keep it in the green, that's just practice and repetition. So we're flying along, that's your attitude, three, two, one, down, All right, and not too much, and check, check, hold it about right there. That's coming down a little bit, don't pull anymore, push, 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 yeah. Right here. Push a little bit forward for airspeed, just in case. And then the bottom's going to be flare on our right here. Roll power on, left pedal, push. Okay, one more. Hey, Tara, tell us on the go. I guess he can see it. Oh, bird. Right there. <laughs> We're 
know it's about 10 to 15 knots off. So we're going to try to keep it around 70, 80. You can push a little more for airspeed. Uh, remember, once your collective is pulled down right aft and then check, check, don't be pulling any more unless it's, you know, starting to run wild on you. And it does lag a little bit, about a second or so. You tug it, it'll take a good so second. So it doesn't have to be perfect if Correct. it's a little high. Right. Okay. If you're right above the green like where it is right now, I got no problem with that at all. Because I, I tugged it just a little bit because it would look a little high, but I yeah. guess that's fine. But like I said, I know that when I go check, check, it goes up because as soon as you crack the throttle, the clutch engages or disengages, how it works, and then it starts spinning faster, and that's why I check it. As soon as you're down and I roll off, I come up. Oh, that's why we say check. We never say pull because some people will pull. All right. And, and then you're, you're that, that bad, very bad. That's why I'm always guarding this thing. Okay, just kind of warm up to make sure. 3 g top seat, that ground feels good for about 30 minutes. Clear, clear, clear. Birds, planes, Superman, towers, Lois Lane, whatever might be flying around out here, we don't want nearest. Just sailing along. Good, 3, 2, 1, go. Down right in. That's a much pitch. and everything, I think we walk away from it, we could use the aircraft again. That was back. Hey, Chair Hotel, I'd like to have our taxi back to the Hey, Chair Hotel, proceed as requested. Not bad at all. The setups are good. Good chance. We're still playing a little bit high for me. Like I said, if it's, if it's real, it's going to be a lower flare, almost like the quick stop at 20 feet. I can see a little more airspeed on that uh, on that bottom also. We're looking at 80 knots. Get this thing fixed, maybe it'll tell us the truth. Yeah, I looked down and it said we were doing 50. Yeah. So, I don't and know, his line. Rule of primacy too and everything and all. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm beating 60 knots into your head, even though we're not seeing it on it. And I mean 60, at least 60. You know, if it's 70, uh, or even 75, it wouldn't go too much. A lot of helicopters have a VNE, the barber pole, or blue line is an auto rotative VNE. Uh, we're off tomorrow and we go to Thursday night, correct? Yes, sir. Give me a little more room over here. Go on a little bit more. All right, a little bit of right we go and then ease us back. I got you clear on this side, come straight back. Nice and smooth. Pull back, pull back, pull back. A little bit. Nice and smooth, keep up. Good here, the one. The crane, look at the train, automobiles. All right, slide your hand back, lock your collective. So we're at 12 hours. Are we wherever we need to be? Yes. No, I wish I would have been back about another 10 foot. <laughs> I'll make you pull that damn thing up by yourself. <laughs> uh, no, you way ahead of that at 12 hours. Well, if you if you'd be in the army right now, you'd probably be soloing. You got a TH-55. Uh, if you'd be in the Navy, you know the Navy never solos their pilots? They really? Know that. Two students. Oh, God. Two <laughs> students. Okay, y'all ready to solo? Okay, you and you. You go fly, you turn around, and you come back and fly. Never solo their pilots. You know the first time they land on a carrier, it's solo? They don't put an instructor back. Really? Yeah. Hopefully it's calm seas. We had 12 hours, you got 8 more to go. We got night cross country coming up Thursday. Well, this should be good. 
You did be real close. You already took your pre-solo test. What time you want to meet on Thursday? About 7:30. Yeah, I think so. Take off about 8:15. I believe it'll be clear by then. How many flashlights you gonna bring? Two. That's a trick question. Did you bring a flashlight when you go night cross country? No, you bring two. Two more lessons in the book. We're at hour 12.2 uh, second. Um, sortie I guess lesson was kind of more you know that's I like the way we do that do intense in the morning and then the second one's kind of a little bit more laid back we did some low level stuff just some basic uh, helicopter handling stuff and then we came back and the auto rotations went a lot better uh, on the second one there so but actually parked it a little bit better than usual just not perfect but um, you know that's 12 hours in the book so um, next episode or the next one we're going to go to Gulfport and go do a night cross country and then um, so that'll be two more hours and then uh, I've got one more hour at night and then uh, yeah then then it's five hours getting ready for solo and the check ride so uh, hopefully be done here in the next month or so so hope you're enjoying this thanks for watching we'll see you next time